Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can change the length of day and night in your Rust Nitrado private PC server. Now, when Rust comes out on PC and when we get the private servers for PlayStation and Xbox from Nitrado, this will probably work in the same way. Um, but as I'm recording this in June 2020, that isn't the case. And when it is, I'll probably put a link in the description down below. So before we get started you need to make sure if you haven't already that you have oxide turned on in your rust nitrado server and the way that you can check that is if you go down to settings and click on general and if you scroll down you should have a tick box in oxide if you haven't already tick that box save the change and then restart the server oxide or it will become to be known as umod is the plugin stroke mod platform that Facepunch, the developers of Rust, use to mod the game and uh, alter the game. And it's very simple and it works very, very well. So once you've done that, come on over to uh, UMod. UMod is the home of mods and plugins. G generally, with Rust, the mods are called plugins uh, and they're all put here. And then you want to go to, uh, I guess you could just click on plugins. Uh, click on Rust. Then if you do a search for, I think, time of day. There it is. So time of day. So there it is. So we just we click on that. And you know, read through the instructions. But I'm going to go through it with you now anyway. It tells you what the... Uh, so if you're familiar with DayZ modding, this kind of uh, file will probably be a little bit familiar. In other words, what it is, it lays out parameters and um, states. So you can see there, you've got day length equals 30. And there's some nice notes, length of day and minutes, night length equals 30. And there's a few other things you can change. However, to actually install it, all you do is you hit download and, and timeofday.cs will, will download. Then we want to go back to our Rust Nitrado server. And we want to go to the file browser. You click on that. And then you want to click on Rust. And then you want to scroll down until you come across Oxide. And then you click on that. And then we scroll down to the, the folder that says Plugins. And we click on that. And in this plugin are your CS files. I see I've already got time of day, but what we do is you click on upload file. You go to where you keep. So time of day. It would be time of day dot CS. So I would then upload that one. So open. That would then upload it. I've already got it, so I'm not going to upload it. And then it would appear here. Then generally what they recommend you do in the plugins in UMod is that you stop and restart the server. Just restart the server. And then what you do is then you then go back to Oxide. And you go back to Config. And what you'll find here is a JSON file, a .json file. And you see we now have a time of day .json. And all we do is we click on this. And it's, it's cool to do this in the uh, Nitrado web interface text editor. You can see the, 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 uh, what, what we see here we can see here without the notes. So to change the night of day, all we do, we go to day length and we change this number. So as you can see, I have got my day set to 120 minutes. So my days in my Rust private server last two hours and my night length is a mere five minutes. And when you're happy with that, save the changes and then you can restart. Now you may want to play around with some of the other settings they have as well. I don't think you really need to, but you could do if you if you wanted if you wanted to. Um, and that, my friends, is it. That's how you change day and night. Did I set mention to restart the server? That's how you do it. That is how you install and turn on and then alter the parameters of the time of day plugin for Rust on your Nitrado 
private PC server. Hopefully that's useful. Hit like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more of the same. And uh, yeah, I'll see you again soon.